With that, let me recognize the gentlelady from Florida, Ms. Murphy, to inquire. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Secretary, when it comes to fiscal discipline, the hypocrisy in the administration's budget is almost too much to bear. You know, the President says the budget builds on the tremendous progress we've made to bring federal spending and debt under control, and that we must protect the future generations uh, from Washington's habitual deficit spending. I co-chair the Blue Dog Democrats, and we've been urging fiscal discipline out of both parties because the threat that excessive debts and debt pose to our economy, our security, and our children's future. And yet, in 2017, the Republican Congress passed and the President signed a tax law that CBO projected would increase deficits by $1.5 trillion over the next decade. On a side note, the signature Democratic law, the Affordable Care Act, was projected to reduce deficits by $143 billion over the decade. I put a chart up on the screen, it's a little bit of an eye chart, but I'm sure you're familiar with this. This is a CBO chart about the federal receipts and outlays, um, deficit and debt. Um, it basically summarizes our fiscal situation. And what I see when I look at this chart is deficits rising, hitting a trillion dollars by 2022. These are CBO's projections. Yours are even worse, projecting a trillion dollar of deficit during the current fiscal year. And you said to a, in response to a previous question that we should look at debt as a part as a percentage of GDP. And when I look at debt as a percentage of GDP here, I see it rising there um, as well. That percentage is projected to exceed 80% by 2022, the highest percentage since 1948. So my question to you is this. Can you explain to me where anywhere on this chart you see evidence of the tremendous progress in bringing debt under control that President Trump cited? Point to just a single number or a trend that you think is positive, and please don't pivot to GDP. I want to hear about deficits and debt. Well, first of all, uh, I think I can see the chart, uh, although it's a little bit far. And first, let me just comment. I do think on a bipartisan basis, uh, this is something that she people should be looking at, so I appreciate your concerns as debt as a percent of GDP and what we look at the debt over time. I would just comment on uh, a couple of things. First of all, you see on the upper part of the chart uh, where the deficit is a percent of GDP, if I can see this is kind of in the 7, 8, 9, 10 type of range, which is quite concerning. I would also just highlight in 2017, a major reason for the deficit in 17 was the fact that Congress passed a very large spending increase, which I think, as you know, the President felt like we needed to make an investment in military, and the Democrats required us to have a big increase in non-military spending. But really, the, the, the tax bill has really not had a material impact on these numbers on the chart. As I said, it will over the next 10 years one way or another. But I would just encourage people on a bipartisan basis uh, to, to, to look at uh, the spending issue. Thank you, and I yield.